Hi folks, St. Paul Steam and Machine here with an improvement I've made to my lathe. I've watched several videos of people making uh, reversing levers with a detent. And I thought, I want something a little smoother than that where I'm not overcoming the force of that detent spring and maybe possibly throwing it to forward or reverse by accident by overshooting. So I wanted something that glided a little easier. And this does that. I have a spring-loaded system in here with a positive detenting system, and I'll show that in a second. This was actually copied off my South Bend lathe. They figured it out 80 years ago, and I thought, well, that's a pretty good design. I even copied the knob. So I uh, <laughs> mimicked that as well. One thing I didn't care for on this PM1228 lathe was to change from longitudinal feed going from left to right and from going to the cross feed feeding inward like most people would you had to come over here to the door you had to open it up you had to loosen that bolt there throw it in the other direction or neutral whatever you wanted tighten it back up throw the door yeah it only takes a minute or so but it's a little bit cumbersome and i think it would make people less likely to throw it in neutral and keep from running all that mechanism all the time this tube would Kane would say you don't need to be doing that all the time. So uh, I came up with this. I thought, like I say, South Bend can do it. I can do it. And you can see the uh, detenting system. I got aluminum strap bar right there. It's just a little narrower than this piece behind it that glides. Sometimes you got to move the, uh, the chuck a little bit to get the teeth to mesh. And uh, I flat stoned the whole back of this plate right here. It was pretty smooth, but then flat stoning it made it all the more smooth and uh, took out any little burrs it had. So it glides really, really easily. And you can see I've got that really close. I used, uh, to capture that contour, I used my pin gauge and it captured it real well. So, and this was the hardest thing for me to figure out, capture that spring in there. And I've got a detailed video of how I did everything. And we made the cut out on the door to match the throw. Okay, let's close this up. And look at this tag my label maker made. It's really nice. Got the Precision Matthews logo, forward, neutral, reverse, with a little arrow indicating, not like it's hard to figure out, but where it goes. And let's uh, put this in motion. All right, let's see if I can get this position to capture everything pretty well. There we go. All right. We'll fire it up. And... Oops. Let's put it in the gear. It's in neutral right now. Okay, try that again. There we go. Okay, forward is away. Now, if I had it forward, left it there, and engage this, you can see it's feeding out. And that's when you'd have to go over to the door and open it up and change the direction. But by throwing it in reverse here, now you can see we're feeding forward. Simple as that. And that was my goal. And as I say, the biggest advantage I think will be that you can just throw this in neutral and not have all the all the gearing and shafts turning as Tubal Cain would say, that's a waste. It's unnecessarily wearing out all your mechanism. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I call this uh, PM1228 reversing lever, a better lever, hopefully. Hope you enjoy this and uh, like and subscribe. I've never asked that before, but uh, like and, sub and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye now.